Welcome back to the show, folks. This is the Shankly Session, the Liverpool podcast we bring you each and every week on the upper tier. Uh, this is your Leicester versus Liverpool preview coming to you live from the King Power Stadium, 8 o'clock tonight. Rogers versus Klopp again, meeting six days later after that unbelievable Carabao Cup tie. Liverpool getting through there on penalties. Um, massive comeback in the second half after being 3 1 down at half time. Um, this is a very interesting one. It's kind of a role reversal, this one, insofar as Leicester are kind of obliterated with injuries and COVID at the moment, and Liverpool look like they have pretty much nearly close to a full length lineup. Um, so this is going to be boys versus men, but role reversal to what we seen last week in the Carabao Cup, where Klopp had to play a number of changes and Leicester more or less had a full squad. So let's get into this anyway. Very interesting. Um, absolutely vital as well that Liverpool pick up the win here with Man City now six points ahead in the league. Um, current form at the moment, Leicester kind of a little bit all over the place with uh, two wins, three losses and a draw in the Premier League and in all competitions. Four losses, a win and a draw um, after that Carabao Cup. Um, in terms of Liverpool, Liverpool remain consistent at the moment. F- league form at the moment, five wins on a draw. Um, and their form in all competitions is the same, five wins on a draw. Um, in terms of team news, let's look at Leicester first. Obviously, we know out at the moment, Wes, these are all big players for Leicester as well, especially the boy Fofana, who's a huge loss. But let's look at Leicester first. Wesley Fofana, James Justin, Johnny Evans and Ricardo Pereira all out. Um, but also um, receiving, uh, could remain out as well with toy problems, Soyuncu and Patson Daka, two big players for them. Also in the treatment room at the moment, Harvey Barnes and Ryan Bertrand. So they have a lot of key players out at the moment. In terms of Liverpool, we know out at the moment, continuing their recoveries, Harvey Elliott, Adrian, Naf Phillips and Divock Origi. Andy Robinson is still suspended, but coming back out of COVID and back in training, we've heard Virgil van Dijk, the man, Curtis Jones, Thiago Alcantara and Fabinho are all back in training after recovering from COVID-19. Um, so potentially Klopp has a number of players there he can pick from much better options than what he had last week depending on where these boys are back in their training situation and how they've come back from COVID whether they're suffering some effects from it and stuff like that um, will remain to be seen in terms of the starting lineups for Leicester obviously in Nets Casper Schmeichel fabulous goalkeeper Daly Campbell Armarte Vestergaard Castagne Ndidi Tielemans Sumari. Perez, Vardy, and Maswanse. So it's a very, very different Leicester lineup here at the moment. Now, let's not take anything uh, for granted here with the likes of Ndidi, Tilleman, Samari, Perez, and Vardy in your team, plus Schmeichel and Nets. It's a reasonably strong lineup, but in key areas, they've had to make huge changes. And I know the boy Vestigard, after coming back there, was struggling a little bit. His form was all over the place the other day. For Liverpool, let's look at the lineup. For Liverpool, we have Alisson, Nets, Trent, Alexander, Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk. Simicus comes in to replace Robbo, Henderson, Fabinho, Keita, Salah, Jota, and Mane. As strong a side as you can get. I suppose the only option that Klopp might have there, he might look at where Thiago was back after coming back into training. And you could see a little bit of a switch there between Thiago or Keita, or you may see a substitution. Um, but great to have that option. But it'd be unbelievable if we have Van Dijk and Fabinho back. This could potentially be boys against men. Um, I mean, the key lineups, I mean, you look at sort of Van Dijk back in there against Vardy um, would be absolutely critical. Um, Vestigard against Salah would be an interesting one. Um, but yeah, a number of dangerous areas there that need to be taken care of and looked at. Um, but not a time for the Reds to get complacent now. We had the Carabao Cup win. We can't take anything out of that. We've got to park that in isolation. We're true to the semi-finals. But this is a big game at the King Power. Tough place to always go to pick up points. But nonetheless, lesser are leaking goals at the moment. And this could be an opportunity for the likes of Salah, Jota and Mane to fill their boots potentially. Um, I'm going for a prediction. I'm going for 3-0 Liverpool. I'm just concerned about a fatigued and injury hit Leicester side on a very sticky spell of form you know, facing a refreshed and full-strength Liverpool outfit. I can only see one winner here. I can see a number of goals in it and potentially a clean sheet. 
So let's do this, Red Men. This has been your Shankly Sessions. If you'd like to contact the show, you'll get us on YouTube, the upper tier. You'll get us on Twitter, at Session Shankly. And you'll also get us on Facebook and Instagram, the upper tier. If you prefer audio versions of the show, you'll get us over there. We're on Spotify, Podbean, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. And we will talk to you again real soon.